we're down on the winds of the mine, Green Mountain at it. Playing with some of the rhyolite country rock that we thought was barren. Bang that fucker from the top. Bang it from the top. There we go, get in there. Trying to wedge you out a piece so you can see it. I should have brought my. Oh man, you can smell the arsenic in it. Yep. Holy crap! I can smell through my mask. Yeah. Some sparks popping off there. There we go. Let me look at it. Hold it right there. Yeah. All right. Twist it around a little bit. Okay, let me just play with it. But yeah, you can see. Let me do it this way. Oh, too much. You can see. All that sparkly in there, just chunks of pyrite in there. Limonite throughout it. Look at that vein. All coming right through here. We thought this was barren rock. We just decided to top down and take a look. Look at that right there. It's kind of hard to see. But right there, that little nodule kind of looking thing. Can I get it? Can I get it to focus hey. right? Ah, looky here. There we go. Copper vein with calcopyrite and pyrites in it. Hell, it looks like gold almost. Right there? Yep. That's what I was thinking. We got arsenic pyrite, we got copper. A piece I pulled off right up here. Look at that shine, is just arsenic pyrite. We got hematite, we got lines of limonite in this. This is what we thought country rock was. And this is the vein that comes down from the roof. Comes down through here. So we got the vein to follow down in the winds. What do we got here? Oh man, look at that. Look at those chunks are just massive calcopyrite and pyrites in there. Oh, man, look at that pretty stuff. It's a little bit brighter on the camera than it is in life. It's not quite as yellowish. It's more of an orangey. Then you go up. And there's focus. And there's our copper. Going all the way through, which ends about eh, about 75 foot from here, and it goes back more to more into what I want to say. Goes more into goldish stuff than copper. Anyway, just wanted to let y'all see that. Bye.